Hello, welcome to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all of the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Um, welcome or welcome back. Um, here on the channel, you'll find me chatting about my adventures in knitting, spinning, crochet and weaving and just any kind of crafty thing that takes my fancy. Um, there'll sometimes be other videos popped up on the channel, but I always try and clearly mark what the video is about so um, you can pop in and out and watch the things that are of interest to you. Today I thought I'd do a little chat about my knitting plans for the coming weeks. Um, if you've been watching over the last few weeks you'll know that I have just cast on 12 new projects and I was sat thinking to myself um, over the weekend, um, okay Ange, so you've cast on all the things, now what? <laughs> Um, so I've kind of devised myself a little plan for um, the next few weeks at least so I thought I'd share that with you but before I um, dive in and chat about my plans I thought I'd share some more of the cast-ons um, that our lovely Yarn and Yarns community have been doing as part of our 12 cast-on make-alongs and if you're not sure what I'm talking about if you are brand new here I'll pop a link up to um, the intro video for the 12 cast-ons and there's still time for you to get involved and cast on some lovely new projects um, we are keeping the cast on element of that make along going until the end of January um, but if you watch the initial video then that will give you um, all of the details. I've still got more comments to catch up on because um, over the weekend I had a really really lazy weekend and didn't really go too much on social media so I'm still catching up but I will continue to um, shout out um, everyone's cast ons in coming videos. Um, so our lovely Angela has cast on a magic hat, an Aran hat and a scrappy granny stripe blanket. Um, Rachel started a moon hat for her niece. Um, Kate started a painting bricks shawl. Um, Lottie of the um, Cancer is a Lifestyle um, YouTube channel here cast on some slippers, a sweater for her daughter and a short sleeve sweater. Um, Maraid cast on some palm house mitts and a snuggle down cowl. Um, Angela cast on some cosy thick um, milkshake socks which oh, sound really nice and toasty and cosy for the feet. Um, Leslie started a basket, I think it's a crochet basket. Um, Tracy started some Norwegian slippers and Sue started um, a festive garland and has also started a few of the lovely little bluebirds of happiness. I continue to be so thrilled to read all of your cast-ons. Um, it's been, yeah, an absolute joy this year um, to see so many people participating um, in the make-along. So if you are still casting on, then please continue to let me know um, what projects you are starting so that I can share them with everyone here in the Yarn and Yarns community. Um, as for me, as you know, I have finished the cast-on part of the cow, um, although I do have a couple of new cast-ons planned. Um, but that kind of ties in to um, my my plans for the coming weeks for my knitting. Um, so I'm thinking I've got at least three projects that I need to cast on um, soonish. Um, I've got a secret pair of socks that I won't be able to share until the recipient has received them. Um, I want to cast on the baby blanket that I failed to cast on on day 11 of the 12 cast ons and I also want to cast on the um, all over colour work cardigan that was going to be my 12th cast on but the yarn hadn't arrived. I've now received the yarn um, so I can cast that on when I'm ready. But I'm going to try and be um, a little bit strict with myself. Between the 12 new projects that I started and the projects that I had on the needles still at the end of the year, um, I have 25 works in progress. I know some of you might be gasping in horror. Please don't worry about me. I do not put pressure on myself um, over this. I enjoy working like this. I enjoy having lots of lovely whips to pick and choose from. And I know that would stress some people out, but it does not stress me out in the least. Um, I have a big pile of project bags behind me. You can see some of them um, and they've kind of spilled out over the floor because I've got so many at the moment. Um, and actually every time I look at them, it just makes me smile. <laughs> it does not um, cause me stress at all, so. I know some people get concerned um, that I do this for um, content for the channel and I don't. This is just how I like to work. <laughs> uh, so yes, I'm going to try and um, at least for the start of the year, um, limit my cast-ons 
um, in terms of, I know I have these things that I need to cast on, um, but I'd like to try and cast on a project for every two that I finish, if that makes sense. So I want to cast off two projects before I put the next cast on on the needles. So that's kind of the basic rule of thumb that I'm going to employ for um, the next few weeks at least. Um, if you've joined me before, um, you'll know that I have had um, various approaches to my making um, over the history of this channel um, and I like to just mix things up a bit so um, I try not to set myself a goal that's going to last a year because I know it's very unlikely that I'll stick to that and um, my making is just for fun I don't want to put any sort of pressure or um, specific goals around that um, because when I get into sort of goal setting um, in that sort of in the strictest sense of the word um, then I tend to start finding it less fun so um, yeah, in the past I have um, taken, as I say, some different approaches. Um, I spent um, quite some time alternating um, weeks on my project. So um, I would work on my oldest whip for a week and then um, the next week I would work on whatever I fancied and then I'd go back to working on my oldest whip and then whatever I fancied and I kept that going for quite some time. That worked quite well. Um, I have tried alternating like one complicated project with a simple project um, so working on a couple of things each week but one that takes a little bit more brain power um, one that's a little bit simpler um, that worked well for me for quite some time um, I did some fun games at the end of last year where I rolled the dice and got the dice to pick my projects for me and I may employ a little bit of that next month we shall see um, I've already kind of got a rotation of projects for this month so um, no element of luck involved to start with but as I say that might come back later in the year because I know quite a few of you were fans of that way of picking projects what else oh at the end of last year um i set myself a daily goal um i wanted to finish two projects before the end of the year um alongside my cast ons and um, i wanted to pair finish a pair of socks and a cushion cover um i've done both of those and i will probably put up another short video um sharing those two projects rather than talk about them here um but for the socks in particular um i worked out how many days left till the end of the year how many rows left in my project and wrote my like a little chart for how many rows I needed to complete each day to get that project finished and I stuck to that and I finished it and I quite enjoyed working like that so that might be something that makes an appearance as well. For this year I've decided to try and pick two projects to work on at a time um, because I know that I I just can't do monogamy. <laughs> I just I can't. Um, my, my brain doesn't like it. I can't help it. Um, it's not a slight against anyone who can. Um, it's just the way that I like to work. So um, for the sake of having a little bit of variety, because I know that's what I like, um, I'm going to be working on two projects um, for at least a week. Um, but there will be one project. I'm not explaining this very well. <laughs> I can hear myself, my brain getting jumbled. Um, I'm going to, okay, let's rewind a little bit. I'm going to pick a project that I'm going to work on every day until it's finished. Um, and when I say I'm going to work on it every day, maybe it will just be a row or two of knitting if I don't really want to work on that project. But I want to keep the momentum going. I want to um, use it as a way to um, progress and finish a particular thing. Um, so it could be a thing that's got a deadline. Um, it could be a thing that I'm really close to finishing. Um, I thought I just need that little bit of extra impetus. It could just be something that I'm really excited for and want to finish. Um, so yes, I will be working, I'll be picking a project to work on through to completion. Um, and then once that project's finished, I will pick the next project that I want to take through to completion. Um, and then alongside that project, I'll pick something else that's just for fun. And I may um, work on that for a week. I may work on it for a few days until I get fed up and then swap that out for something else. So, yeah, I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm going to be working on two projects at a time. Um, one until it's done um, and one until either it gets done or I'm in the mood for something else. <laughs>
yeah, I thought I'd tell you about the first um, couple of projects that I've picked. Um, so the project that I am working on until completion is my Aqua Miri cardigan, um, which is a pattern by um, the lovely Sylvia Watts Cherry, um, who is with Cherries on Top 2 um, over on Instagram. And it's a pattern that was published in the latest issue of Lane magazine. So this was the issue of the magazine that the pattern was published in, um, the winter 2020 um, issue and Sylvia reached out to me a few weeks before this was published this was published back I think it was on the 10th of December something like that um, and Sylvia reached out to me and said would I like early access to the pattern um, to do a really sort of informal test knit I guess I just wanted a few people to be working on the project so this is the um, Aquamiri so it's a long line cardigan um, with some colour striping and um, a bit of an intarsia panel um, as well so um, I was absolutely thrilled to have been asked because I love Sylvia's patterns and I've test knit for her before and yeah her her patterns are just really lovely um, so yeah I'm working on my Aquamiri and um, I am pleased to say I have made a little bit of progress on that every day um, up until Saturday um, because on Saturday I got to the point where I needed to, to start blocking the pieces of my cardigan um, so this is the back piece which I have soaked and um, left flat to dry um, but I don't have enough room to block all of the pieces at once um, so over the other side of the room at the moment I have got the two sides and the two sleeves are laid out and are um, sort of blocking drying flat um, just to make it easier to seam them up um, so I'm uh, yeah I'm just waiting for them to dry once they are dry which I'm hoping um, they're still slightly damp so I'm hoping tomorrow um, I might be able to start the seaming on that and then I'll go back to working on my Aquamiri um, every day um, but while I have been waiting for the Aquamiri to dry um, I thought well I might as well pick up my next project that I want to take to completion and work on that for a few days until I can get back to my Aquamiri um, so the next project that I will be taking to completion hopefully um, is my habitation throw um, so this is a project that I started um, in Advent um, the lovely um, amazingly generous kind um, and very talented dyer um, Fiona of Flourish Fibres gifted me um, a advent calendar that she had left over from her last year's advent um, and it's all naturally dyed mini skeins and I started it um, through advent um, but I wasn't able to keep up with this particular project um, but I really want to um, have this finished because um, it was just such a kind gift and it's going to bring me so much joy um, and I just don't, I just didn't want this one to languish. Um, so over the last few days I have um, pick this back up again and I've added the next few mini stripes and as you can see from here um, I have turned the corner so I have um, got to um, just over the halfway point um, in this blanket and I'm working on the decrease section this blanket just is going to bring me so much joy um, so yeah this will be um, worked on today and then I will come back to it as soon as Aquamiri has finished and I'm keeping that, um, I've moved my habitation throw um, into this beautiful bag um, that was a gift from our lovely Pamela and um, Pamela has also um, sent another bag um, similar to this which will go into our um, 12 cast-ons um, prize drawer. So that is project number one and two but it's kind of project one if that makes sense because they are the projects that I'm going to be working on every day. Um, and the second project um, that I am working on alongside that is um, living in this lovely project bag that was a gift for my dear friend Sylvia and inside here I have my um, new moon slipper socks um, which um, I cast on as part of our 12 cast ons and um, I'm knitting these from my hand spun yarn a skein of Polworth yarn um, that was dyed by the lovely Almas which crafty lady and a gift from Martin um, of the knit 365 vlog here on YouTube um, and I'm knitting the um, new moon slipper sock pattern as I say um, a, pa a pattern by Ellie of Curio Stitches and um, Ellie has a lovely channel here on YouTube too um, this was my day 11 <laughs> I've got my lovely marker on there from Judith um, and I have finished the first slipper sock um, it's just got a sort of short leg as you would expect a slipper to have 
and the reason I decided to pick this up and work on this is because one it should be a fairly quick finish um, so it'd be nice to have one of my 12 off of the needles quite soon um, and two um, I'm also joining in with a warm feet cal um, that's hosted by the lovely Lisa of the um, Soulful Spinner uh, YouTube channel um, so yeah I was knitting these two at a time um, <laughs> I think I mentioned in the video um, two at a time is not my favourite technique um, so yeah I did give up on that and they've been going a lot quicker <laughs> at least in my mind they've been going a lot quicker um, since I switched over um, so I'm on the um, a good portion through the foot of the second um, slipper I've done 11 of 14 pattern repeats before I turn the heel and yeah it, it's just really enjoyable to knit with my hand spun uh, this Polworth fibre is just so lovely I'm working on those too they're quite a small project and because I want to have them down for the make-along uh, the make-along does go on until the 14th of February if you fancy joining in um, you can check out the details on uh, Lisa's channel over on her Ravelry group or over on Instagram if you follow the hashtag warm feet cal k-a-l and um, then you'll find all of the details for that if you fancy making a pair of slippers or th thick socks she said doesn't have to be slippers um, for that cow um, and you want to join in um, then yeah all of the details will be found there so yes I am going to continue to employ um, this kind of approach over the next few weeks um, I'm definitely going to take the slippers through to completion because they won't take long at all um, and then once they are finished I shall just have a look in my giant pile of project bags I have here just out of shot um, and see what takes my fancy next to work alongside um, my project that I am taking through to completion which um, will either still be the Aquamiri I've got to um, knit a collar on that um, after I've sewn it up or it might be the habitation throw depending on how quickly it takes me to finish Aquamiri. Yes my knitting plans for the beginning of the year at least. Um, I hope that somewhat made sense. I feel like I'm a little bit jumbled today but um, yeah days, some days are like that aren't they? Love to hear whether you have any particular approaches that you're taking to your making um, either throughout the whole of 2021 um, or whether you've set yourself some specific goals for the first um, month or the first couple of months of 2021 I'd love to hear um, because well you know me I'm just nosy like that <laughs> and it's always nice to feel like we're having a proper conversation rather than me just sat here chatting at my camera in terms of plans for the channel um i think it might be a couple of weeks before we get back to a proper sort of sit down weekly um sort of traditional this is what i've been making this week um type format here um only because i have um also got some thoughts about recording a video about my spinning plans for 2021 and um maybe one other um sort of crafting plans 2021 that might encompass um, some plans for weaving and also a couple of other things that I've been thinking about this for this coming year um, so I thought I might pop up a video on that um, I also have um, some footage from the advent calendars that I had in December now I know we're way past that now um, but I did share the first 12 days um, for the four advent calendars that I had um, so I thought I might put up another little mini series um, of short videos about the second half of my advent calendars for anyone who is interested in those um, I've also been um, asked a couple of times a few people have messaged me to say um, am I planning on doing any more book videos um, and am I planning on doing any more planner videos um, so uh, yes the answer is yes I'd like to get back to posting about those things um, a little bit more regularly um, so I'm thinking for the next sort of couple of weeks I might put up a few more short videos a little bit more regularly um, we're in lockdown here in Wales so I'm at home a little bit more have a little bit more time potentially um, to do that um, and then maybe towards the end of January we might go back to um, a regular sort of weekly chat about what I've been making um, I also have two projects that I finished at the end of last year um, that I could pop up a little video about as well so um, yeah I think I might do that um, over the next couple of weeks um, I'll try and keep the videos fairly short or as short as I can you know me I like to do waffle quite a lot 
<laughs> but I'll also try and clearly label what they're about so um, I know not everyone is interested in all of the things but hopefully you'll be able to pick and choose um, the videos that you want to watch um, or if you just want a little bit of company and I'm here a little bit more often um, then of course you can watch them all <laughs> I'd love for you to do that so we'll, we'll see what I get to time for um, over the coming days and weeks um, but yeah just a little heads up that it might be a couple of weeks before we get back to that sort of traditional here's what I've been making this week um, style of video so I hope you don't mind that before I sign off I want to say a huge thank you um, to everyone who um, bought me a coffee um, over the last couple of weeks I do appreciate the support that I have from anyone who is able to do that of course to anyone who has signed up to my patreon page um, and my patreon page is sadly neglected it's not very exciting it's just basically a way for people to um, be able to donate regularly if they would like to do so um, but I hope again because I've got a little bit more time at home potentially over the next few weeks um, I hope to maybe pretty that up and perhaps get a few more things going over on patreon but to anyone who has taken the leap and has been able to um, commit to supporting me on a regular basis I really really do appreciate that it does help me to um, put aside the time to keep the content coming here so um, if you're not able to support the channel like that I completely understand it's not within everyone's means um, just by being here by watching by liking by subscribing um, by commenting um, you're a wonderful valued part of the yarn and yarns community and you're supporting everything that I do here so thank you so much I'm going to sign off today um, and I'll be back soon with um, a video I'm sure so I hope that you will um, join me again for the next one um, but until we do get to spend time together again I hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy great big bully hugs to you all bye for now